I'm currently in some quarry in the Cotswolds. We've got a ride over to the Stowe Wold today through lots of hills. Uh, we've got three official climbs and I say we because look who I've got with me. <laughs> hey Pete. cold <laughs> we're shivering we haven't even well, started we've, yet we've been sat on my heated seats for an hour so now it is freezing cold when we come out you don't get this at home do you no but when was the last time you rode your bike on the 7th of november <laughs> on a club ride you know that is oh, is that the feed station yeah feed station. where you were wrapped up in a blanket because you were cold which was my first club ride in four months so you've, you've decided to be your first ride back after a couple of months to come to the Cotswolds. <laughs> yeah, I thought the Cotswolds were going to be flat. And do nearly 2,000 metres of climbing. It's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be beautiful. Well, let's um, hope so. Let's hope we warm up. Warm? <laughs> Can we find a cafe with a fireplace, please? <laughs> <laughs> well, and a blanket? Yes, always a blanket. Right, so we've got 93k today. Uh, and Pete's just looking at his um, bike because he's actually cleaned it. And he says it looks sparkly. I think we need a five second one to how beautiful it is. Yeah, just don't look too close at mine. You know you said you didn't want any gravel. You didn't mean the car park, did you? Well, it's not croaking, Pete. <laughs> that was a bit of a claim to start. Just out the car park. I'm dreading the one after the car park. My legs are already saying no. That's not bad in the first 100 metres, is it? Good idea. <laughs> Well, this is in. This is Can you see the blue arrow? Blue arrows are bridle ways. Oh. What did I ask you in the car? I said, Is this all road on my 25 mil slicks? And you said, Yes. I, I believe so. It's a bridle. It's got time. We've it's... been riding five minutes. It's concrete. <laughs> hey, coming in there, I thought we were coming to somebody's house. I was a bit worrying for a minute. It did look like someone's driving, didn't it? Yeah. Very posh driveway. It's just the Cotswolds, you see, long driveways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, let's just hope he doesn't go through that field afterwards. We <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what they say, Pete. To avoid the ice, you need to come onto the gravel. <laughs> Sniffing much? I, why am I surprised? I'm surprised because Kamut said it was all asphalt <laughs> and paved road. That is not paved road. <laughs> it's like mulch. Look at it. Look, look at my tyres. <laughs> is your bike still clean? No, you're... <laughs> this is impossible. Sorry, Pete. Come ne on a road ride, he said. Come yeah. on a road ride. Same again next week. Or take me back down the old dirt road. He's a bit precious. Just getting the mud up, the calipers, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time you've cleaned it for two years. <laughs> it's doing no, it within five minutes. <laughs> what was the point? I was out there in the dark cleaning my bike with a head torch on. No, <laughs> well, the road hasn't got much better. Yeah, would you call that a road? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, good day, brother. Oh, this road is just incredible. All new roads, all new scenery. It's like a sensory overload. We are absolutely loving it. Although we seem to be going away, every time there's a sign for Stonewold, we go in the opposite direction. <laughs> it still says it's 10 miles away. Uh, but if it's roads like this, I don't care. Absolutely don't care. It's like croaking all over again. <laughs> you thought you were going back to the car park, and you're still three miles, still three miles. <laughs> well, there's that, yeah. <laughs> and the houses ain't bad around here either, are they? There's a little bit of cash. <laughs> that one house back there had a Land Rover, a Porsche, and an Aston Martin, just because you need all three. Yes, definitely need all three.
<laughs> Only in a land with houses like they are and the stunning scenery peak can there be a road closure called Telly Ho? <laughs> 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 Which way are you supposed to go? Uh, past that bollard and through it. Through, through. Yeah. We can get through that. Definitely. Yeah. When is a road closure? It's not a road closure. What's your thinking and fancy some refreshments or are we going to move on? Have a nibble. Your old ways, you get the camera out when I'm eating. <laughs> Same old. <laughs> we, can, we can go to the next one. Go to the next one. Right, so we're in Stowe on the Wold. We've done about 35k, about 700 metres of climbing, so we've still got quite a bit to go. Uh, we're going to go on to the next place, which I can't remember, before Winchcombe and before the first big climb at Bushcombe Lane. Which, um, the first big climb. The first big climb and I need to get Pete's reaction to this. I haven't really told him about Bushcombe Lane yet. So may I remind you, you picked these routes out, the ones I've put on offer, but our first big climb of the day, Bushcombe Lane, is 30%. <laughs> no, it's not. You're making that up. I wish I was. I like how you say the first big climb of the day, we've done 700 metres of climb. <laughs> we haven't done a climb yet. Oh, we've done climbs. Not proper climbs. I haven't ridden my bike since November. <laughs> Two and a half months. <laughs> I did be optimistic. It was, was it 800 metres of climbing on Kamut, so you know it's over 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well be maybe, in the Alps. Maybe we do need a coffee stop here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting it now. Time to go time. We've just had the first non fun bit of the ride. We've just had a long uphill drag out of Stowe on the same road. It just seemed to go on forever. But we found our way to Temple Guyton. I think that's how you say it. And there is a little tea room here. Refreshments. Are you feeling it, Peter? <laughs> a little bit. I've done 900 metres of climbing before the climbs. <laughs> I was just sat on your back wheel for that whole 10k. It's the way you were looking at the profile going climb, hugging, climb, hugging climb. Your wheel. climb. <laughs> Pete, I got blankets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's looking a bit flat, Pete. You know you were saying in the car on the way up that you uh, wouldn't pay £70 per day yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I <laughs> It's all flat. It was bound to happen, wasn't it? If ever there was a time you didn't want to puncture, it was two minutes after you've left the nice warm of the cafe on a very cold day and then have to try and change to with very cold hands. <laughs> like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right, I forgot how to act. It's so classic. Every time you make me nervous. Right, so that big hill in front of us is Salters Lane. It's the first of our official climbs today. We're back down on the flat. It's got cold again and windy. I can barely feel my face at the minute. So going up a hill, it's going to warm us up for definite. So this is uh, the profile for Salters Hill. It is a bit of a beast, <laughs> as are all the official climbs. Uh, we've got a lot of climbing to do from now until we get back to the car and my heated seats, which I am immensely looking forward to at the moment. <laughs> Can't wait to put the heated seats on. Well, you're going to warm up now. This is Salters Hill Lane. Oh. So we're going straight up there somewhere. I don't keep the climb of the day.
Now I know why it never worked out before. I know it would always turn out best, so bad. But every time. Wow. What can you say about that climb? That was absolutely amazing. Views, it wasn't too steep. Just incredible. Kind of a private road, there was a gate either end. I'm hoping we've got the segment because we went through the gate, but there was a way to go around the outside, so I wouldn't be happy if I haven't got the segment. But then again, Peach just said, let's come back and do this in the summer. Absolutely, yes. ready but I think that soon I am I know I like it this thing the way that you amaze me but I'm scared as this is Bushcombe Lane said 25% on the sign I take 25% over 30% but we've been a little bit nervous the last few kilometers we know it's been coming just gonna try and get through it <laughs> and uh only a couple more climbs after that to go. Oh, Wishcombe Lane, this is the profile. It looks nasty. We are in trouble, but we don't really care. Tell ourselves there's always tomorrow, but it will still be fair. No, they don't pick us up, instead they knock us down. And that's the way it goes, until we're in the ground. <laughs> 1.2k <laughs> We're already in 20 seconds <laughs> I'm not going to do it I just can't go deep in my cobia lungs. That's so steep. Oh my god. 70k into a really hilly ride as well. <laughs> my lungs are screaming. Just need, just need to recover. <laughs> Get this last bit. That, that guy who lives on the corner, he just said that's the last bit there. What you can see is what you've got. So up there. And I'm gonna have a Snickers at the top. <laughs> Let's hope it's not as frozen as it was in Stowe. <laughs> You might need new teeth as well. <laughs> Are you eating again? <laughs> I need to offer that. <laughs> oh, where was that? My arms were hurting. Arms? I'm pulling on the bars. It was so steep. Yeah. I don't I just need more gears. Even that bit we clipped in after we stopped. It's 29%. And you come over the little bit. It's 9% and it feels easy. <laughs> So I believe we've got two climbs to go. Ags Hill, which is one of the new ones that's been added to the X list. And then just climb up to the car park at Cheltenham, where we started, which isn't all the way up the hill. It can only be halfway up the hill, because we had to climb a long way out of the car park. You make it sound so easy. Yeah, yeah. it's not easy. Why do we do it, Pete? <laughs> that was the least impressive of all three climbs we've done today. They say three, we've done umpteen. Um, but if you're, only, uh, if you're wondering why Pete wasn't in any of those shots coming up the climb, it's because a young lad passed on a bike and Pete went after him. Mr. I have got nothing left. That, I don't know what was in that banana at the top of Buscombe Lane, but bloody hell, I was dying up there. He dropped me on the steep bit. 
reeled him back in on the less steep than he dropped me on, but it's just spat me. Yeah, he's only done 5k though, he's just come out of Cheltenham for his evening ride. He made that with you. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Another yard more. I think I would have bonked. That was so hard. That's the hardest winter ride I've ever done. <laughs> oh, really hard. It is a fantastic ride. I absolutely loved it, but I have really struggled. I need some food. I need my heated seats. It's so cold. My muscles are so cold. <laughs> I'm sad. Thanks for a great ride. I wish I'd have had a banana and a Snickers at the top of Bushcombe Lane now. <laughs> so there we have it. 1900 metres of climbing, 93k. Cotswolds has delivered, and uh, there's two very, very tired cyclists. We've now got the best part of an hour and a half drive home. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Somebody commented last week, time for a flat ride ne next week. It might actually be time for a flat ride. Who knows? Knowing me, it will involve climbing. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Get me out of here.